Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Ahmad and here we talk about software engineering, tech and student lifestyle. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing. Today we're going to talk about some great apps you can use to learn how to code. So let's get started. When you're learning how to code, you don't necessarily need to be at a desk with a large monitor and computer. You can literally learn from anywhere you are. Obviously being on a desk would be ideal because that's where you'll be the most productive, but say you want to learn while you're on the train or in the plane, this is where you don't have access to the items that are on your desk. That's where these apps come in. All these apps have their own benefits and I'll give you a breakdown for each so you'll know which one is best for you. Solo Learn is one of the most popular apps that you can use to learn how to code. You can learn any programming language or technology that is out there. They also have specific paths you can follow like web development or game development. They have a code playground feature where you can display projects that you have created and look at what others have created as well. There's also a discussion board where you can ask questions to the Solo Learn community if you're stuck or you can help out others. Solo Learn is free, but it also has a paid membership where you can get more features like setting goals and being able to see concepts getting explained with interactive code demos. Mimo was one of the first resources I ever used when I first started learning how to code. What drew me to the app was how easy and simple it was to use and how well they explain topics in an easy to understand way. What's great about Mimo is that it has bite-sized exercises, meaning they're very short but to the point which allows you to learn concepts quickly. Mimo also has a code playground feature where you can experiment with examples, write and run code, and save your projects. Finally, Mimo has a streak feature where you can set daily goals and maintain streaks to keep a habit of coding every day. Grasshopper is a JavaScript specific learning app. Although it does touch up on HTML and CSS, the main focus on the app is JavaScript. Grasshopper's goal is to introduce you to the world of web development. You are going to be learning the fundamentals of JavaScript and then go on to more advanced topics. What I really like about this app is that they have an intro to interviewing section where they break down how to approach and solve interview questions. This is something you don't see on many apps that teach you how to code. Programming Hub offers a research back combination of Kolb's learning technique plus insights from experts which ensures that you learn thoroughly. The content is made precise and bite-sized for you to understand quickly and learn faster. Complex topics are broken down and simplified for better understanding. The learning model ensures 40% higher retention of concepts learned. Programming Hub is very fun and interactive. You have visual learning, interactive quizzes and puzzles and audio and GIFs to explain concepts. The app comes with additional benefits like verified certificates, a code compiler, and over 5,000 plus programs to refer to. Encode is a fun way to learn tech skills like Python, JavaScript, and Swift to using the command line, building websites, query databases, and analyzing data. You learn for free with Encode's self-paced lessons, bite-sized explanations, coding challenges, and real-world examples to build up your coding skills. For this app, I'd recommend to use on your iPad if you have one, as the text editor is really great and you can really use it to its full capability with the extra screen real estate you get with the tablet. Codecademy Go is the app version of the popular Learning to Code website. Codecademy Go is a supplemental tool to your Codecademy experience. With Codecademy Go, you can practice coding, review coding concepts, and read articles and stories that will get you closer to achieving your learning goals. All in the Go wherever you'd like. You have streaks to keep you motivated and keep on going every day. There's also review cards where you can go back and revisit concepts you've learned. With Enki, you can learn data skills, pick up or improve your coding skills, and sharpen your technical skills. All this is done through a science-backed interactive learning experience tailored just for you. Some features of Enki include mentor review to help you grow, track learning streaks to motivate your progress, interactive questions to stimulate your learning, and more. You have access to over 2,500 lessons in 25 plus programming languages and technologies. So definitely check it out. So yeah, these are the seven apps I think are best to learn how to code. You obviously don't have to use each one, see which one you like the best and just stick to that one. Also keep in mind that these apps are just to help you get started. They won't teach you everything from front to back and get you job ready. Once you've gone through the app's curriculum, you'll then be ready to move on to more advanced courses and further your learning. These apps are just to help you get started and teach you the basics. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. Please like the video if you found it interesting and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Also follow all my socials, which will be linked down below and have a great day.